Hey everybody, it's Bill from Kizu.com. We're down in the Weather Center on Monday of spring break week, at least for some students around here. Yes. And if you want great, sunny, warm weather, go to Florida. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> it may happen or, in here. Or New Orleans or Texas. Um, you know, the California desert isn't that bad this time of year either. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what we can't complain about today. At least we get a nice dry day today. Good. Um, the timing worked out so that the next storm system is not moving in until overnight tonight. In fact, I just looked at the last computer model and, you know, they come out about every six hours. So the last one before that was earlier this morning when I gave my first forecast for the morning show. This one is a little more updated and it now shows just maybe a little drizzle or light rain after after seven o'clock tonight, but the majority of the rain comes after midnight. Much of the storm system is moving, moving into California, but the band of rain that will swing through and become steady through the night after midnight uh, is looking like it's going to time out that way. But that also means tomorrow is looking wet too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so no big surprise as we look at the seven day forecast that that pretty much opens the door to a wet week. Boo. Yeah. There's basically going to be kind of a semi-permanent trough of low pressure over the Pacific Northwest that doesn't move much. And it's kind of, to be honest with you, in response to that just crazy ridge over the other side of the country. It tends to kind of lock in weather on the West Coast, cold and wet weather on the West Coast, while that hot and warm and humid weather continues on the East Coast. It's on the wrong coast. It's on the wrong coast, sorry. 54 and uh, still more rain on Tuesday. Now, Wednesday looks like a day of in-between kind of showers and possibly sun breaks. But the computer models do show, and again, you know, when you're five or six days out, timing isn't always perfect on these models, but it does show Thursday and Friday, two separate storm systems coming up, wet and windy, windy along the coast especially, you know, like maybe even high wind warning windy. Wow. Not sure yet, but that should happen uh, Thursday into Friday and possibly continuing to see showers on Saturday into Sunday. So uh, Oregon spring break week, not unusual for it to be wet, and it seems like it's going to be that way this week. Well, if there were any, if there are any sudden outbreaks of sunny and 70 anywhere in the vicinity, <laughs> we will check back yes, for an update. Yes, that would be breaking <laughs> weather news. That would be a breaking <laughs> weather alert. <Okay. laughs> Even if it wasn't dangerous weather, it would just feel like for our sanity, we would need to do a breaking weather alert, I right? I think you're right. <laughs> I think you're right. We will break that news when it comes. Oh, and it just has to. Got to, yes. It's got to. All right. Thanks again, Rhonda. We'll check in again tomorrow.